Ever wondered what's the difference between catsup and ketchup? It's a question that has puzzled many a condiment connoisseur. Today, we're diving into the savory world of tomato-based sauces to unravel this mystery. Let's start at the beginning. The story of ketchup or catsup begins not with tomatoes, but with fish. Yes, you heard it right, fish. In the 17th century, British explorers in the Far East came across a fermented fish sauce in present-day Vietnam and Malaysia. This sauce, known as ketchup or ketchup, was a staple in Asian cuisine. The British took a liking to this tangy condiment and brought it back home. Once in Britain, the sauce evolved. The British began experimenting with it, replacing the fish with ingredients more readily available, such as mushrooms, walnuts, and even oysters. It wasn't until the late 18th century that tomatoes found their way into the recipe. This was when the tomato-based ketchup we know and love today began to take shape. Now let's cross the Atlantic and see how this sauce fared in the New World. In the early 19th century, American cooks also began making ketchup, but they spelled it as catsup. Why the different spelling, you ask? Well, it was a result of different cookbook authors and manufacturers vying to differentiate their product. The most notable catsup ketchup rivalry was between Heinz and Hunt's. In the late 19th century, Henry J. Heinz chose to use the spelling ketchup to set his product apart. On the other hand, Hunt's, a competing brand, opted for catsup. Over time, ketchup won out in the United States, largely due to the popularity of Heinz's product. So what's the difference between catsup and ketchup? In essence, there isn't one. The two words refer to the same tomato-based condiment that we slather on our fries, burgers, and hot dogs. The primary difference lies in the spelling, a relic of marketing strategies from a bygone era. In summary, ketchup and catsup have a shared history that starts with a fish sauce in Asia, moves to a mushroom or walnut sauce in Britain, and ends with a tomato sauce in America. The difference between the two words is purely semantic, a result of 19th century marketing tactics. So whether you prefer to call it ketchup or catsup, rest assured, you're talking about the same deliciously tangy condiment. Now pass the fries, please. 